So cool. We have... Uh... <gasps> Is that our friend? He looked a little bit drunk. Let's play the radio station. Hello and welcome to Hula New Plays Short. In the horror games and today I'm going to play the newest game by Chilla's Art. It came out on October 31st, which means everyone has already played this. I'm super late, but you know, it's it's a stressful time. I'm working in a business where like the end of the year is always like incredibly busy and I don't have, you know, like when I'm off work, I was, I'm super shattered. But you know, who cares? Like that doesn't interest you. So why? Why am I telling you this? Um, yeah. So this is a survival horror um, with an VHS tape look and feel, which I recently, you know, got really got into because there there's been quite a few games that I played in this aesthetic that were really cool. So I'm looking forward to this. I mean, Chilla's art, I think, is widely known um, amongst fans of indie horror for being really effective and I think I played the night delivery which really spooked me so yay <laughs> yay 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 all right Mas Masaki died Masaki got shinda. One day I found the message right after I woke up in the morning. By the way, I read those things when they're in a different language so, so people can hear it, you know. That can't be. No way. But, but I just met him the other day. The man was happily talking that his radio job was getting on track died. I couldn't believe it. After hosting the radio, as always, he was found dead at the radio station. Oh shit, I also used to work at a local radio station. So, ooh, can we late? The cause of his death is not clear. I mean, not, I can't relate. I, I never found a corpse there, fortunately. But sometimes I was late shift, and then I had to close up the entire radio, and that was really, really creepy. Yeah. Not clear? What does that mean? The police have given up on the investigation. Early on, classifying the case as a suicide. Suicide? That's bullshit. That day. That day, something must have happened on the show. Wait. Didn't he just say that he just met him? Or was it like, he can't believe that he's dead because he just met him? I decided to find out what happened to my brother by myself. Sorry, that's why I was because of the brother thing. Oh god, this starts great. Yeah, j just, oh. <laughs> and there we are. Yeah, I think all new viewers have already locked off. <laughs> by now. <laughs> um, okay, tab is the... Inventory. The key to the radio station in the mountains is in the mailbox at home. You may take it if you need it. Hashimoto. That is such a big flashlight. That is hilarious. That's like... <laughs> that's a construction site flashlight. That's a movie set flashlight. Amazing. So I guess that's it. Do we want to... Let's close our door. Oh, that's nice. Is that the mountains? What is that? Oh. Where does the shadow come from? What is this? Oh, Ooh. you see that? Where does it come from? It can't really be. That's weird. 
I know that's not where we're supposed to go, but yeah, yeah, like if I can go and look at the environment, I will do that. I should get in the car. This is a dawdling Let's Play channel, you know. I like to waste a lot of time. <laughs> get on car? Why not get in the car? That would be better. Um, oh, there's my map. Oh, do I have to... Okay. No! Oh god. Oh no. I can't. Oh. Oh! So loud. It's so. Yeah, I will not. No. Oh my god. Oh my no. Why? <laughs> Why is this happening? Oh god, I'm so bad at driving in video games. Oh, it's like, obviously. And it's so loud, it's making me uncomfortable. this this is the station okay oh that's good I just crashed so um what enter yeah I want to enter oh god yes I don't want to park <laughs> I just put it I just leave it there yeah hmm. leave the area no wait Okay, the run is... It's not good. What's here? The generator. There's a bicycle lock, okay. So I guess we can find a key for a bicycle lock. And what is this? Oh, it's so dark. Wait, can I... Yes. Oh, I... How do I pick it? What did I just do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I just did. Wait, there was a... Oh god, this is so... There was a question mark. I don't know where that ended up. I need the station's key. Oh, so this is the station? I thought the other building is the station. 10 yen. Oh, money. Ooh, pip, pip, pizzy. <laughs> yeah. Get that off brand cola drink. Oh no, that is the building. Okay. I need the station's key. Well, where do I find it? I guess that's up to me. Um, hmm. Oh! Oh, with scrolling I can shift, switch between uh, inventories. Okay. Is it somewhere here on the windowsill? I don't see anything. So what happens when I, when I leave? This is different places to go. This is so vast. Is that a person? Was that a person? Oh god. That was creepy. It was like a gray person. Oh no, that's just a... Uh, whatever it is. Looks like a canister of some sort. This is the owner's house. Who is the owner? Which owner? From what? I'm so confused. Aha! 
There's a key. Okay, so now I can just go again. So that was a short trip. Let's just walk around, see if we find a corpse or something. It's the usual in, in games like this. No, looks all pretty normal. So now I have to drive back. Wow, that's some... Yes, leave. <laughs> I need to concentrate, so that's why I can't talk right now. But I can edit that anyways, because that's not that's not so interesting and fascinating that we have to leave that in. That's just me awkwardly, horribly driving down a road and praying that is that flooded? Praying that no one else is on this road because I will kill them. And there we go. Oh god, that was... Oh man. I think I got a little bit of motion sickness now, just now. That sucks so hard. Like, to have motion sickness in cars, in vehicles, in actual real life vehicles, but then also to get motion sickness In video games, that seems so unfair. Okay, so we finally made it. Why is that keyboard in the corner? Who does that? What? Tape recorder. Okay, so we need a tape. <laughs> when does this game play? Is it? Yeah, it's VHS style format, so it's in the past. But even then, games really overestimate how often people recorded stuff on tapes that wasn't just cool music. You know, I mean, I did performances when I was in elementary school for my parents. Just an amazing show that hopefully has been lost in time. Why is it in the fridge? But I didn't really do like uh, diary entries or really important information on a tape recorder, you know. We had paper and pen for that, or even computers. So what did I just get? Um, 10 yen flashlight vending machine ticket. Oh, so I can go outside to the vending machine and then... But it doesn't show me, hmm, no, so far, nothing. No, that's just the shadow. That scared me a little bit. Oh, there's something else. Ah, there is the tape, okay. It's a little bit annoying that as soon as we pick up something, we immediately have it in our hands because I think the flashlight is the best choice most of the time because it's really dark. Oh yeah, um, there we go. Masaki's horror story. Hi. おにかまさきです。このコーナーでは僕、まさきがリスナーさんから送られてきたホラーな話を読んでいきます。とそれ、let's when she was a preschooler, it wasn't too extreme. She couldn't see a ghost clearly, but she saw foggy figures and also felt certain places were cooler than the other. But when she became an elementary school student, she started seeing them more clearly. It all started when she found out that no one else could see the man, who was always standing at the same spot. She says she began to feel the horror of being able to, since, to see since then. The couple was having tea at a cafe, but the boyfriend had no leg. Oh well, habits. 
pretty girl was playing in the park, but she was transparent. Fortunately, she couldn't hear them. And maybe because of that, they didn't cause any extra harm to her, so she became less conscious of them. I think it was when she was in her fifth grade, when one girl started following her. Ooh. It seemed that the ghost was always saying something, but she couldn't understand what it was saying, which annoyed her. One day, an incident happened. She was playing with her friends that day, and it got dark without her realizing it. So she was hurrying her way back home, alone. Because it was dim, even a little noise scared her. Yeah, that. And that's when she was spoken, Good evening. She turned back and saw a middle-aged man. Are you alone? I could give you a ride home. She was scared by the man, so she declined the offer and tried to walk away. But the man grabbed her by the arm and said, I'm telling you, I will give you a ride. She was so scared that she couldn't even speak. Then suddenly the man screamed and ran away. She looked in the direction she was looking at, and there was the usual ghost. Was the ghost watching over the child? One out of seven. My brother's voice? Oh, interesting. It said there are six more of these tapes. I have to find them all. I'm gonna catch them all. <laughs> you know, it's from Pokemon. I never played it, but I watched the show. But... I mean, not to raise hell. Like, if you like it... Good for you. Wasn't my favorite. Wasn't my favorite anime show. I had I had others. So we'll have to find other tapes. Okay, we were here before. Also, what is this room? This is just a fridge. This is such a weird room. Leave, I guess. There was this other building that we can go to. Um Oh, two other buildings, in fact. So, th so we have to go to these buildings, maybe, get the tapes, and then return back. And I hope we don't have to return back after every single tape, because holy that I... Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this driving. This is making me ill. It's always weird. I can't really pinpoint when I get motion sickness while playing a video game and when I don't. Because I played also games where I had to drive and where it was first person, where I had no problems at all. Oh wait, no. Oh well, let's... Oh well. Yeah. Oh. I hate this noise. It... It's so loud. I don't like it. Like how shitty is our car that it's that loud? Oh god. No. I... Also that mirroring on the on the screen doesn't really help at all. Okay, it's a warehouse. Let's enter, I guess. I mean, I did not get an incentive to enter, but I couldn't find a tape in in the radio station, that's why. Yeah, so we just we just enter. Oh. Oh my god. What is this? Okay. so weird. I don't know why, but this is scary, these doors. I don't like them. <laughs> oh, there's a car. Oh. Hey! Next, we need to go to the. That is an. Uh, that's like a, a. A vending machine, I think. And that's where we have to go. Oh, don't. 
Yeah, what is this mirroring? That doesn't happen in an actual car. You don't have that. This is a vending machine area. There does exist something like a vending machine area. It's like a dangerous neighborhood with just uh, creepy vending machines. Public phone? Yes, that's what people used back then to call other people. Okay, so we have a slip. Oh. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, two, one, four, three. Maybe this, the numbers are the order of the four numbers. So it's basically me and puzzles. Damn. So it's like four because the first would be the fourth tape. Then we have two, then we have six, and then we have seven. Let's just try this. Oh my god. I'm an idiot. Editing magic will make this happen, but it took me so long because my initial idea was spot on, but I completely mixed up four and two, so that's why. Ugh. Okay, that's tape number two. Oh wait, we have the we have the penny, right? So I can um, where is it? It's so dark. Not the penny. <sighs> Aha! Okay. You never look up, do you? Oh. oh, okay, it's just a tape. Oh my god, if there would have been a face, I would have just lost. Although, now I'm like, oh, why wasn't there a face? <laughs> so, second tape. Leave the area. Um, yes. And I could also possibly go back to my home. Let's go back to the radio station for now. I know I said I want to catch them all and then go back, but um, maybe the tapes will tell me what- Oh! No! 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 But I stopped! No! This is f No! Oh my god! I stopped! I stopped! Oh, this is horrible! Oh, no! Sorry! <laughs> This is me genuinely upset because I don't like I don't like killing animals in games. I recently played Resident Village, a Resident Evil Village in easy mode so I didn't have to kill any animal to get the food upgrades. And I did it. I was a little bit disappointed that there's so you don't get a you don't get nothing for it. I thought that would be like uh, going vegetarian or something. <laughs> Achievement. Okay. Back to the radio. I don't. I didn't like this. Was that the car? I never know. The car sometimes si sounds like a person screaming. What shit car are you? You're so scary, car. You're scarier than. Anything else in this game? So, is there anything here? Wait, is there a second floor? No, that's just a normal. Okay, well, let's go then. Um, Jesus. Masaki's horror story. 
Thanks for joining us again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Now let's start with the letter as always. <laughs> We have a letter from Toko. Another one. Oh, it is the same person who sent us the letter last time. The last one was good, so I'm looking forward to this one as well. I think this was when my cousin was a junior high school student. My cousin was very depressed when her family got sick. My cousin still says that was the lowest of her life. Her family got sick, but she couldn't do anything, making her frustrated, anxious, and emotionally unstable. She became unable to attend school. She didn't feel like doing anything. And spent her days just looking at the sky and sigh. However, she had one hope. It was her best friend. She had a friend she hit it off with at elementary school, and they were very close. Her friend was worried about my cousin, so she came to her house every day. And she listened to her and empathized with her irritation and anxiety. The friend also talked about fun things at school and made my cousin laugh, casting light on her dark days. She even stayed over at her house sometimes. One day, my cousin was looking forward to her best friend coming. She casually looked at the clock and realized that passed 30 minutes from her friend's usual arrival time. Maybe her club is prolonged or perhaps she's too busy to come today. Cousin kept telling herself. Tick-tock sound from the clock became louder and louder. She thought she heard the ambulance siren in the distance. Then, a phone call came in. Her friend had a car accident. Her best friend was forever gone. Jesus fucking Christ. She blamed herself and thought there was no point in living anymore. Why would it be her? She decided to commit suicide. When my cousin was about to throw herself off the bridge, she heard a voice calling her. Still, she tried to jump off, but it called again. Not only that, but a girl's face appeared in front of her this time. It was the face of her best friend. She was so surprised and overwhelmed, she broke down and cried. And she stopped the suicide. It was just that one time, and after that, she couldn't see or hear her friend. Still, her friend has been and will always be special. Okay. And where's the other one? Saki's horror story. Ah, uh, yes. We are back at it again. What kind of story will come out this time? Let's read the letter. It's from Toko. It's this person again. The stories that Toko sends us are heartwarming ghost stories. So I'm looking forward to it this time as well. What kind of ghost will come out this time? I think this was when my friend was a high school student. My friend's family was hospitalized, so she went to the hospital every day. The hospital was a polyclinic with many doctors and nurses, and people were always going in and out of it. Maybe it was the time of year when staffs are shuffled around. She felt there were many changes in people. She stopped seeing familiar nurses and saw many new nurses. As usual, she went to the hospital to visit her family, and she passes by a new nurse in the corridor. Because the nurse came from the direction of the room where her family is, she casually asked her family, new nurse came again? But her family replied, who are you talking about? Was it my misunderstanding? 
Is she a nurse from before or a nurse from a different room? <laughs> but I sure remember coming out from my family's room. <laughs> Many questions came to my mind, but I tried not to think about them anymore. Then a middle aged woman in the next bed spoke to them. She said, Because it's a hospital, things happen. She smiled a little and gave one candy each to my family and me. The lady was amiable and charming. When I came to visit my family a few days later, I stayed too long and the visitation time was left short. After I went to the bathroom, I headed to my family's room to say goodbye before returning home. Then I saw the door open of the room where my family was and the nurse I saw before came out. For some reason I quickly hid and as I watched she came out with the lady in the bed next to her family. To my family probably. The lady was walking hand in hand with the nurse. Is it death? I immediately entered the room where my family was and asked about the nurse. When my family told me that the lady wanted out of the room alone, I hurriedly chased them. Oh, oh, ho, oh, ho. Oh. I saw the lady and the nurse. Ma'am, I called from behind. But as if they didn't hear me, they didn't respond. Of course, the nurse does not look back at me and walks, and they walk together. The two stopped in front of the elevator, so I ran to them. I finally caught up when they got on the elevator and was able to grab the lady's arm. Ma'am, are you alright? When I said that, the nurse glared at me and disappeared. It's just me and the lady who doesn't remember anything on the elevator. The B2 button was pressed. As I learned later, the second basement floor was the morgue. Oh! <laughs> Oops. Where did the nurse intend to take the lady? Ooh, it's getting more sinister. So it starts off, I think, yeah, the, the um, he, she, her, I, I think that's a translation issue. Um, maybe from Deepo or some other translation software that doesn't really get it. Um, but yeah, the stories are basically about this girl, this uh, the Toko's friend, who could see ghosts. Um, and the older she gets, I guess, the more sinister those experiences become that she has with the ghosts. I think in the warehouse we might be able to use this UV light. Um... Do you hear that? Is that the light or is that a huge... Oh, there it is. Okay. Because at the beginning it was more, you know, this one ghost that saved her from the creepy man. I mean, all middle-aged men are creepy, so, you know, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Always have to say that before angry middle-aged man will just... <laughs> I mean, I married a middle-aged man, you know, so I can't have anything against them. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's getting darker, it seems, so the nurse was up to no good. Sorry, I'm always leaning far to back, and then you can hardly hear me, because I don't have... Here's the thing with microphones, you don't really need an expensive microphone. But if you have a non-expensive microphone, it needs to be uh, adjusted better, usually. And mine is winky wonky. Like, sometimes it works and sometimes it sounds like shit. Okay, so we'll go to the warehouse area. Oh, I can't, I can't be in this shitty car anymore. I hate it. I hate it so much. Okay, up, left, and right. And I hope I don't kill any more um, pigs, hogs. Is it hogs if it's wild pigs, basically? Because the German word for hogs um, is wild pig. 
like Wildschwein. Schwein is pig and Wild is wild. <laughs> We're not very creative when it comes to naming animals. We really aren't. Okay, so here we are back. It's a warehouse. Okay. What? What was that sound? Was that deliberate? Yeah, this was also where the weird um, car was. I don't know, that, I feel like the flashlight is very picky in what it lights up and what it completely ignores. <laughs> I wonder that whether there was meaning behind that other car. That was really weird. Okay, um, let's enter and now... Yes, I knew it! I mean, you know, it's not the most difficult puzzle, but so I'm proud of myself. I'm uh... a voice recorder. Oh. Hello? Huh. No tape. So what does that mean? This is this house makes me really uncomfortable. I don't know. There's something about there's nothing in those rooms, just those doors lining up. That's it's one of those things where architecture do you know when architecture is weird in a way that you like like um having a, a house and then there's like a door on the second floor on the outside of the house but no stairs, you know, and it makes you feel like queasy because it's not supposed to be like that. Yeah, that's just, I think that's what I'm feeling. <laughs> okay, so we got the voice recorder. Um, do we wanna... Let's go to the house of the... I don't know what to do with the voice recorder. There's, it's the other car. It's a trash area. Oh, that's new. That's the car we saw and it's... it crashed. Wait. Yeah. Hello? Is there someone inside? You wouldn't know because our flashlight is like, no, you, you can't... Uh, rats seem hungry. What is this? Is this a bag? So we need to find something for the rats. Padlock. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I guess we can leave and go back to the radio station. Should we... Go to my place. So I need to pick up something to eat, so the rats will leave the trash bag. But first I will listen to the tape. Yeah, I'm interested. I can change my, my, my opinions. You know, I said I want to listen to all the tapes all at once. But I think first of all that's not possible, and second of all, I do what I want. Why is it suddenly so quiet? Is that a bug? Am I a, am I a ghost car? Wait a minute. Did my car? <gasps> my car broke. <gasps> Did I miss something? Oh, did I miss her? <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at the map. 
I hope it was just the noise and I didn't miss something super crucial. Oh, Jesus. This is the station. Wait, was this house always there? That's my... Is it on? Was this always here? Holy shit. I can't remember this being here, but doesn't matter anyway. I get wait, what? There's something odd about this monitor. Break it! Because I'm a hooligan. I wouldn't do this. And oh, there's a tape. So cool. We have. Uh... <gasps> Is that our friend? He looked a little bit drunk. Oh, but our friend committed suicide. Oh, for a second I was like, um, he is is lost, like he's he's missing. But no, he committed suicide. So that's not good that we just saw him. <laughs> oh, we only have three tapes, so two, one, two, two are missing. So okay, let's do this. Masaki's horror story. Hello there. I will read horror letters as always. This is a letter from Toko. This person has become familiar. What kind of story is it this time? The story of a girl I met recently at my part time job. Oh, a new one. Depressing days have passed since her brother was hospitalized. The girl went to the hospital every day for her brother and was taking good care of him. Sorry. It's the same person as usual, right? Ah, oh. yeah, it's Toko. Excuse me. The writing size is different from usual, so I thought it was another person. Let's get back to the story. Huh. When I went to the hospital, as usual, my brother's doctor... To? Excuse me. Capital letters are used in weird places. Oh! Whoa, I will continue. My brother so he guided me to another room and after some silence, the doctor oh wait, there's not much time left for him. Oh wait! I went to my brother's room and there he was, smiling as always. After that, I tried to go to the hospital as much as possible when I had time. Like so, the month had passed and it's been three months since I talked with the doctor. It was a little colder than usual that day. On the way to the hospital, a little boy called me. Mom? I'm not your mom. The boy almost started crying when I said so, so I decided to look for the boy's mother. Soon we found his mom and I handed him over. The boy's mom saw me as she was leaving and asked, You look tired, are you okay? She said, My house is right around the corner, please come and rest. I didn't realize, so I accept the. Oh, come on! Boy's mom served me a cup of tea and a slice of cake. I sighed in relief and made myself relax for the first time in a long time. Such a sweet time has passed by in a blink of an eye. Is the time okay? I was asked. I looked at the clock and there was only one hour left till the end of the visit time. It didn't feel like I stayed that long. I'll take 30 minutes from here to the hospital. I left the house immediately. Forgot to say a proper goodbye. Oh, how rude. So I turned around and there was no house. What? 
<laughs> but I had no time to think about it. Well, I would take the time. My cell phone rang as I was rushing to the hospital. I didn't notice the soft sound in my pocket. When I arrived at the hospital, a little boy looked like my brother stood in front of the door. I found that strange and approached him. I felt like the boy asked, what were you doing when I was suffering in pain? I entered the hospital in a hurry, but it was too late. Oh. I called my brother's name and cried loudly. Why? At that moment, I felt that something was coming. It's the caps again. Min was in capital letters. Excuse me. Let's continue. Coming inside me. Since then, my brother is always watching me by my side. Always. So he died. Ooh. What was that sound? Um, yeah, sorry. The, the subtitles are so fast, I can't properly read them. And the translation is really... <sighs> yeah, it's tough. But, so I figured... This time, the ghost, which was the mother and the kid, they basically conned her. So she... Was it the same hospital? And in this case, was it like the nurse, the ghost nurse, wanted her out of the way? So the ghost basically did a Ocean's Eleven type of con to lure her out. So the nurse ghost could lead her brother to death? Because it, it sounded like he died in the end. And now he's always by her side, which didn't sound like a good thing. Okay, where's the tape there? Masaki Sora, sorry. I'm just happy that this radio has had such amazing feedback lately. So I will be reading as always. Yes. Again, it's from our favorite Toko. Toko didn't write whose story it is this time. What is this noise? Well, I'll read it. I didn't have any... That's what I think. Wait, sorry. I had to protect my brother. That's all. I only had my little brother. Also, he survived. My friends and relatives, no one was around me. Oh, it's in capital letter. There was some in the previous letter, too. It's not like I can't read it, but... Well, I don't want the story to stop, so I try to read it without being bothered by it as much as possible. Let's continue. No, they were gone. When I noticed, it was just my brother and me. It was unforgivable. Everything was... S is in capital letter. My anger was directed at every thing. I hope for everyone's unhappy. -ness. No? Oh. Unhappiness. As I said, it's a little hard to read when there are capital letters like this. It's really not. Sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. I will continue. I always wrote the letter at the same t time, cautiously. I wrote down everything I saw. Such letters resonate with the reader's heart. I like to see the pa person's face when they read it. Bringing feast to our world. My brother is always next to me, with a worried look. I hold his hand. 
できなかったことを今。I will do what I couldn't when my brother went to sleep. Forget all the grief and sadness. And let's. People often die around me. Yeah. I wonder if it's my fault. You'll see. I'm coming to see you too. No! Stay where you are! Something is written at the bottom. Have you read my letter? Hmm. It's all in capital letters. Letter? Do you mean this? What do you mean? Letter. What okay. I'll look for it. If I find it, I will read it next time. Maybe those. What is this sound? Maybe if he reads out all the sounds, you know what I mean?、Uh, all the letters. In a certain order. Oh, oh, there. She will appear. Hi. Oh, you look. Do you have a. Do you have a face in your mouth? It looks like she has eyes in her mouth. Oh, God. And why does the sound come from here, but she's here? Oh, my God. I mean, she looks rather curious. It's kind of funny because she looks so creepy, but her pose is like very awkward. Hi! Is someone in there? <laughs> I can't find my keys. Okay. I don't want to go outside. But I guess we have to. Okay. Okay, so we have the. The vending machine ticket. Yeah, that's the thing that I don't get. Do we need to go to the vending machines again and get something to eat for the rats? But I like this. At the beginning, I was a little bit,、mm, I don't know, this, you know, with the driving and everything so awkward. But the progression and the way the story is shaping is really, really interesting, despite the ghastly translation. But, you know, that's on me because I don't speak. Outside of English, I don't speak any other languages, so. I'm just happy that it's available somewhat in English. And I think we get the gist enough. I think she's accompanied by her ghost brother, right? Like, I'm holding his hand and he's always by my side. Okay, so. Okay, let's go outside. Yeah, so that is my car, the, the rumbling. I thought it was always a different car. No, I, I don't wanna. I wanna. don't wanna. <laughs> yes! Yay! That is so weird. No, wait. I want to look at a little bit first. Is there something here that we can see with the. Oh, there's a river. Huh. Headlock. Oh, what's that?、Uh. Huh. Wait. There's a hole. Okay. So, can I do something with it? So, do I need. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, why is one dead? Oh, no. 
Oh, look at the little feet. Oh. I like them. So, what can I do with the hole? Well, let's leave and listen to the penultimate tape. I think then there's only one left. Is that a new... That's a new sound, right? Is something on my... Car roof? Oh my god. Yeah, the noise work in this is really good. Because all the noises I don't like. <laughs> So is she already following us? Probably. Or he, I don't know. I don't know if the person we saw was our friend. And also how what his relation is to um to her. I mean, did she just write him? You know, because sometimes girls are like, you know what, I'm just going I'm I'm just going to fuck with the Wandrel. But sometimes there's a relation, you know. Okay, I just was looking for something that we could maybe like gr grab through the hole or whatever, but no. Okay, let's do this. Masaki's horror story. Thanks for joining us again. This is your host, Masaki Onikawa. I think those who listened to the last show will understand. We found the letter. Shit. I didn't notice it because it was sandwiched between the documents. So I'm going to read this letter for today. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> what kind of story is it this time? This time as well, it is a story from Toko. It seems to be something like a title this time. Let's start reading from the title. Who? The tape ends abruptly. What happens after that? Oh, the voice work, uh, the voiceover suddenly is not there. He was about to read a letter. It should be between some documents. I have to find it. No, you don't. You really don't. So what? We're looking... I don't even know where his office is. Like, where... Or his desk. Ha ha! Uh uh there's a sticky note on the paper. Read it. Wait, let's read it. Read this out loud and you'll know why your brother died. Yeah. Oh, I know. That's the curse that killed my brother, right? That's like... Um, it's the oldest trick of the book. The demonic possession book. Or evil haunting book. I mean, can I do anything else? The the thing is, because I can choose. That's curious, isn't it? Why is it suddenly lighted? That's new. <gasps> oh! Um... Shit? 
What do I do? What do I do? How do I get there? Oh! Oh, that was, uh, oh. Very neat. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Um, there's no one here. What? Oh. I like the music. That was really good. Trash tongs. Oh, yeah. You know what? Before I climb up, I will go to the... To the trash place and get the stuff from the tongs. Maybe we can like help ourselves not to get that's why I didn't read the letter because I was like well I have the choice that's curious because that could also mean that I have the possibility to lift the curse like help my brother you know even if he's dead to maybe like go to the nether place and not be caught with the with the ghost anymore Because she, he's probably tied to her, maybe that's it. Maybe she tied him to herself like her little brother because she lost her little brother. And now she's looking for, you know, other brothers to steal. She's stealing our brother. The audacity. Okay, let's just, just give me a second. Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, this is... I'm into it! Wow, that was like... It was a rough start, but... I'm so into it. But I still could live with about... 60% less driving in this game. I know a few of the scenes, you know, where you had the weird noises on the... On the uh, roof of the car. And also... There we go. Um... And also the hog, but I don't know. I don't know. I could have lived without it. Okay, so. Ha! What did I get? Did I. Padlock key. Oh, yeah, for, for this one. Okay. Okay. There's another tape deck. And there's a tape. I can use this to reverse tapes. Okay. I would enjoy it very much to not having to do this all the time. Like, if I could just skip from one map place to the other. You know, I mean, the roof noises scare was amazing, but this, it is so loud, it is so awkward. It's a lot. <laughs> Well, climb up. Don't know what that was. There we go. Is she even unlocked cassette tapes? I mean, isn't that one of those achievements that you get just because you continue the game? Wait, is there anything else here? Yes, climb down. Wait, was there something down there? If so, I did not see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe editing Hula Noob will find it. Oh, it's gone! It's gone, right? Yeah, and the lamp is functioning. Okay, so that's why we have to go to the trash place. Okay. So I guess there's no alternative endings or whatever. Mm -hmm. Let it be the last tour, please. 
please, please, please. I don't want to drive anymore. You know, there's so much literature out there and also so many movies and even music that romanticizes driving and cars. Even though I think people spend so many miserable hours in their cars. You know, stuck in traffic or... Like, if you're stuck with someone you just had a fight with, but you have to travel back six hours to your place. <laughs> and you can't really... You can't escape. That's the horrible thing about being stuck in a car. And then for everyone who gets motion sickness, cars are just on another level of, you know, uncomfortable. There we go. Back to our favorite place, the trash area. That's our new home, I guess. Okay, I can use this to reverse tapes. Um, there is the tape. I can use this. Yeah, do it. So what now? No, it's gone. So what do we do? Oh, there it is. Play fixed tape. Oh, so I... Oh. But I was... I think I was right in just going to the trash place. Um, to my hangout. Because... Probably if I would have found this before, it would have said, oh, the tape is, you know, it's already played, so let's do this. The darkness of Tonako. Little brother burns hot and the older sister exhales a blue breath. Tonako can't do anything. Tonako leaving alone. Not a ray of light can be seen in the darkness. Is it a monster that I see over there? Even if I invite him, he doesn't move. The ugly side casts of the vestiges. There's no island or color ahead. One bone of a wanderer. You couldn't keep up with the right rabbit. Who is changing? Is it me or is it someone else? Even if you put the monster beside you, reflection in the mirror only shows darkness. I fall and I fall and yet I haven't fallen. There's nothing at my destination. Toko. Oh, but the... Masaki must have died because he read this. Yeah, we didn't read the letter. I don't know what power that poem has, but I need to get it examined. Shit, I read the poem out loud. I'll take that paper to the police tomorrow. It's too late and it should go home for the time being today. Probably I should go home for the time being today. Yes. So the window knocking was one of the greatest things in this game. And I also, I really love the roof scratching. I said it like, I think, I mean this, it took me 90 minutes, but I will edit it down I think a little. There's nothing more to do. Go home? Yes. And I think I said it like a thousand times that the roof thing was kind of cool. Because it was really unexpected and I don't think it's something I saw in a let's play of a horror game or played myself. Masaki Onikawa's brother, Haru, brought a tape to me. He said, if you listen to this, you will understand the reason for Masaki's death. I decided to listen to the tape. However, no matter how much I played it, nothing came out and nothing was recorded on the tape. Haruo panicked. He seemed to be mumbling to himself. It can't be. Suddenly he handed me a piece of paper. Masaki died because he read this paper aloud. There was a recording on the tape to back it up. After accepting the paper, Haruo whisked away. <laughs> I'm just imagining him, like, getting out an umbrella, popping it open, and then just flying away like Mary Poppins. He had a severe look in his eyes, but is he trying to make fun of us? The police? Of us? Making fun of the police? Impossible! <laughs> there is no way that a single poem written on a paper like this can kill a person. If such a thing were to really happen, it would be a terrible thing. As I was staring at the paper, a younger colleague came over to me. 
Senpai, what are you looking at? No, I hear that if you read this poem out loud, you will die. Oh man, it's already a viral mem. What? Is it superstition or something? Do you really believe in that, Senpai? The junior laughs. Oh, I, I, he told it to the junior. I thought the junior was like, oh no, that's the death poem. <laughs> Why don't you try reading it, senior? Don't do it. Don't do it. I was told that, but I couldn't bring myself to read it. Good choice. You know, even if you don't believe in it, you don't have to tempt fate, you know. You don't have to just just don't do it, you know. Like you don't owe anyone the weird teenage bravery of standing in front of a mirror and saying Candyman three or five times. Was it three times or I think it was three times, right? Was it five times? I don't know. You don't owe it to anyone. You can just say, you know, I don't believe in it, but I will also not do it. Of course I didn't believe him, but are you scared, senior? Then I'll read it for you. No. Laughing, my colleague picked up a piece of paper. My colleague read the whole thing at once. Nothing happened during that time. During that time. I didn't expect anything to happen, but I was a little relieved. Nothing happened. Maybe it was just a prank. I was about to say it. Or not. He suddenly screamed and collapsed. Wow, that's fast. That is super fast. He never came back. <laughs> And when I noticed the paper was gone too, what was that poem about? <laughs> Old brows? <laughs> Ending one! There actually are different endings, I can't believe it. But I won't play it through a second time. So yeah, um, I think it was a little bit wonkier than, than, for example, night delivery, but I think that's because we had different locations. And I think this is like an indie game, you know, by I think one developer. I don't think it's much more people. I think it's mainly one person and then maybe supported by a couple of other people. Um, so you have to take these kind of things into account because then to think that this game has different locations, it has a driving mechanic. And Chilla's Arts releases games so often, I think there's a couple of games each year, in you know, regularly, so there's, there's a lot of output, a lot of cool, always kind of different stories, unique stories, um, and so just because the driving was a little bit wonky, um, that doesn't really took from my enjoyment. My motion sickness did, but this had the, the, my motion sickness has nothing to do with this game. So this is like this is my issue that I have, and I have this with triple A games as well. So I would be a total asshat if I would give any minus points to an indie game for that. Um, I was a little bit hesitant at the beginning, I think, because of the driving. But I got more and more into it, and I think that makes a cool story, you know, when you, um, s even if you're like, well, I don't know, and then suddenly you're like, oh man, what happens next? Okay, let's try this out, let's go here, no, let's go back there. So I really like this. I thought uh, it worked really well with the, with the things that changed, like the knocking and the, the hog, although... Yeah. But okay, <laughs> and the roof again, you know, um, and the different things, it, it felt so natural, like I didn't feel like I backtracked unnecessarily a lot, um, which this game actually, it, 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 I would think it happens more with a game like this, but it really didn't, and that speaks to the game design. So this was a really smart choice by the developer. Um, to to lead the player through the game without backtracking too much. So every drive to a place has a certain reason to discover something new. Um, I like the puzzles. They weren't too difficult. I just had a few hiccups because I'm a doofus sometimes. <laughs> but all in all, I really like it. I like the, the story progression of the letters being read out loud and then being weird. So basically, we we experience the brothers' um, entrapment, right, into the curse. Um, that's a really neat thing. I wish at some point there will be a better English um, translation because I think it will add to the story. I'm quite, I'm super 
duper mega sure that in the original language this even is more creepy it really packs much more punch because you know the translation i mean it was it was really not very good um but the story still was creepy so i would say that the story in the original language is probably amazing um so yeah all in all i really love this what i like about Schiller's art is that um it's always the kind of it's it always seems like the kind of the same style um weirdly it was it said it's basically a walking simulator which is really really isn't um i know john wolf always criticizes people that call games like this walking simulators because a walking simulator is really when you do nothing else and you can just walk around and click at a thing max at maximum and that that's it but he, in this game we had we had puzzles we had driving a driving mechanic that's a lot um, so this is not a walking simulator, um, but Chilis art games, you know, they always are like exploring, very story heavy, and then you have certain puzzles here and there, and then you kind of, you usually dig into a mystery and uncover it slowly. So the setup, the, the basic premise, um, or let's just say the genre is always the same, but the stories are always so different from each other, and the settings as well. And I really enjoy that. And I think for the for the number of games um, Chilla's Art publishes each year, it's always really impressive. I mean, just imagine this with a bigger budget and a bigger team, you know. Um, I mean, on its own, it's it's really impressive. And so, yeah, heavily recommended. I will put the link in the liner notes, obviously, so you can play it yourself and maybe go for the other ending and tell me about it because I want to know what it is. Um... Also, if you discovered anything that I got completely wrong, um, tell me in the comments, please. <laughs> and also, if you can recommend games like this, um, maybe not with the driving, but, <laughs> but games like this where it's more exploring a few puzzles that are not too hard, because, I, I you know, um, then you can also suggest them. And... If you're new to this channel and you um, enjoyed this, despite my weekend starting point, I'm really sorry about that. I was kind of in a weird mood at the beginning and I hope I, I got, you know, it revved up like a car engine. Um, but if you enjoyed this, um, I usually play games like this. Uh, short indie horror games a lot. Sometimes I do game reviews. Um, I will start a couple of game essays um, in the future, but... Yeah, that will take time because, you know, I'm lazy. Um, but if you enjoy content like this, especially like horror content, then you, of course you're invited um, to, to subscribe. And I promise you, if I ever give you a poem, you can read it out loud and I will not haunt you or kill you. You know, I will just be very happy that you read my poem. Yeah, you know, just be grateful. So, subscribe, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a wonderful day and maybe see you soon. Bye 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 This is my self-recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews and let's play